What's up guys? Today we're in Stockholm, Sweden, and we're going to be doing some shopping today. Sweden is known as one of Europe's top shopping destinations, and we are in Stora Niagaten, which is a famous street for buying souvenirs. So let's go check it out. All right, we walked like 10 feet, and we're going to go to our first shop because we're going to look at some sweaters. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, the Scandinavian look at that design. sweaters. How much is it? <laughs> Crown. That's a lot. Oh, they're all made in Satilla, Sweden. I love these designs where like the bottom's clean and the top's clean, but or not clean, but clear. Mm -hmm. And then they have this cool design around the chest and back. Yeah. It's super cool. I love socks. Everything is beautiful, but I think I'm gonna wait and see what else there is. Look around. Let's keep looking. Shopping capital of the world. That's what they say about Stockholm. I am not surprised. Now we're at Stan's Polka and are gonna try some traditional polka grease, which basically means candy cane in Swedish. They apparently are more tasty because the peppermint's more subtle. We're gonna test that out. All right, first impressions. The smell is so good. You can smell it from the street. <gasps> you can see them making it. This is so cool, or at least something. I don't know if it's candy cane. She's making vanilla and sea salt fudge right now. It's beautiful. Do you ever get hungry working here? I don't because I eat a little bit too much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> These are free samples? Yeah, free samples. So this is chocolate fudge. We have the sea salt, I think, too. Wow. It's very hard to choose. <laughs> oh. That's so good. <laughs> Swedish chocolate. First impressions. Mm. It like melts in your mouth. It's super soft. That salt, I kind of love chocolate salt combo. It really adds that salty sweetness to it. I like it. It's crazy to see all the different shapes that they have with candy canes. So they have the little nibbles that you can tab, and then they have like the traditional cane, of course. And then over here, you can see there's like um, cones, like. Oh, like a spike? Yeah. Okay, what should we buy? Look at these, even the bags are shaped like a, um, like a cone or like a spike or a... That's cool. Okay, we're gonna get one of the traditional umbrella little shaped polka crease. Hey, can I buy this? It only costs two or 15 crowns, 15 krona. That's not bad. No, it's like a dollar. And it's supposed to be shaped like an umbrella. We were just reading into that. <laughs> Should we eat it right here? Yeah. Okay, let's eat some uh, krof polka gris. <laughs> Come over here. Wow, that was fast. That's our new favorite transition. <laughs> All right, let's unwrap this puppy. So to give you a little history on polka gris, so we are literally in the birthplace of candy canes. It yeah. doesn't get more traditional than this. The lady who created it, what was her name? Amelia Erickson. Erickson. She was Swedish and her daughter had a cold. And so she made this like peppermint stick to kind of open up her sinuses. And now it's turned into a huge hit. Yeah. <laughs> How satisfying is this? Watch. Nice. Okay. Apparently the mint's supposed to be more subtle peppermint. Mm. Not like our normal candy cane. The, you don't even really taste the mint. It tastes kind of like a Jolly Rancher, actually. Is that the traditional flavor? Mm, I think so. Tell oh. us, is this a traditional flavor of polka crease? I don't know. I keep forgetting the name of that. Wow, we need to get on this. Let's go back to our roots of candy canes globally. I spot more tourist shops. Love these little alleyways. I feel like I'm in a chasm. Shopping in Sweden. Shopping in Sweden. I must say, I think Vaster Langatan is more touristy than the other street we were on. I don't remember the name. 
That was more like fashion. Fashion. And, and bus stops. And candy canes. Yeah, and candy canes. So, depends on what you want. So Sweden is actually where the Vikings used to be. And so just for fun, we're just gonna go check out and see what they have at this Viking shop, Hen Faste. Hand forged knives. All of them. Look at oh, that. are they like steel? My brother would love these. That's crazy. Could we try to, should we try to take it on a plane? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> They call it a paper knife. It seems like a flipping dagger, like a throwing knife. That's crazy. Um, they call it a brovknif. Brovknif. Or no. Yeah, brovknif. Oh, it's plastic. I thought that was solid steel. It's like anyone who touches that finally becomes a man. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. Okay, what store should we check out next? I want to check out the Dalahassens. The horse store? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Oh, this is going to be so hard to decide what to buy. Yeah, there's a lot of options. Now we're going into a store called Dala Shop and it sells Dala Hessens and Tumptas, which are two very Swedish, very famous souvenirs here. I'm excited. Swedes are known for their like wooden products. So there's a lot of wooden products here, which is cool. So Dalahassen stand for Dalarna horses because they were made in Dalarna, Dalahessen. And it's just crazy to me how many different colors there are. I know, I mean, the traditional uh, Dalahessen is red, but they do have various colors here as well. It's crazy, they even have a video of like someone making them. It seems like it's a pretty intricate process. Yeah, the history is kind of funny too. So apparently it's said that there were these two guys, two woodmakers who were sitting under a tree and mm -hmm. bored. And so they were like, what are we gonna make? And all they had for inspiration was wood and horses. So they're like, okay, we're making a horse. You can even get a stuffed animal one. Look at that. <laughs> should I get the traditional red one? Mm, I feel like, yeah. Or should I get a different color? Red's so cool. Oh, black's cool too. Wow. You guys, I need this little guy. He spoke to me. He's on a swing. These are tumptas, which are like uh, folklore little creatures that are said to protect the home. Um, and they look like little farmers. So cute. Okay. These are our final little keepsakes. Oh my word, wait, love, look. You can get oh, little littles. Those things are tiny. I wonder how much those are. How much was it? Total, 398 krona. Okay, I made it to another tchotchke shop. There's a ton of them. And look at these, these cool little houses and how they work. You have like the front and then the no back. It's kind of like a jack-o-lantern. You have a candle and you light it and then all those windows will light up at nighttime. That's cute. It's super cute. Man, so much stuff. Oh, should we buy a ship? <laughs> That's so sick. I love the Swedish flag. I just love the colors. They're so bright. No winners in that shop. Time for a peek a break. All right, for our fika today, we have Kamel Bulle which is a cinnamon bun and they are super popular here in Sweden and they actually originated here as well. I've seen everyone eating them. We have to try it. It's interesting too because it doesn't even look like a cinnamon roll. It's like a cinnamon pretzel with, I think that, is that salt on top? No, it's actually sugar on top, I think. Oh, or maybe butter or sugar? Sugar. Okay. <laughs> Yummy. 
You can definitely taste the cinnamon. The bread's flaky. Easy to tear off and bite. Perfect on the go dessert. So there's no frosting in there, is there? Nope, just cinnamon. So right now we've mentioned it, we're doing fika, which is a verb and a noun. This is fika and we're doing fika. Um, it's like just a coffee break with pastries in the middle of the day. Uh, and so now I'm gonna try the coffee cappuccino. It's gorgeous too. I love when they do little, little swirly designs. Super good. Swedish coffee, all the Swedish coffee I've had so far. I'm your porter. Yeah. I feel Anyone like Anyone else out there have a porter boyfriend? <laughs> Half my value to this relationship, at least, is my ability to carry stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well I think that caps off both of our shopping experiences. We had such a great day. This really turned into a great time. Yeah, yeah, it really was. Let us know if you like shopping vlogs. This is the first time we've ever done one, so. Yeah. We were kind of like, oh, it might be fun. People might like it. So, and we got a lot of shopping to do, so win-win. Anyway, peace out, subscribe. Bye.